Welcome to a new vlog. Today we are taking a closer look at this uh, battery charging slash UPS module which I showed in a previous mailbag video. So let's start by taking a closer look at the module and explaining a few things about this uh, circuit. The 5V charging input is connected to this pad and goes through uh, a Schottky diode and then if this pad is soldered is connected straight to the input of, to, of the uh, DC to DC boost converter. So this is like an on off switch uh, designed on the PCB and in fact it is actually marked SW on the solder mask of the PCB. The DC to DC converter is this small chip right here and it's marked AL692 and after a bit of searching I think the part number is actually SD6271 which is a uh, 2 amps 1 megahertz DC to DC boost converter. The maximum input voltage is 5.5 volts and the output in the case of this module is set to uh, 12 volts through these two resistors. For those wanting a different output voltage they could probably um, play with the values of these resistors by using the formula given in the datasheet and adjust for a different output voltage but you have to be careful uh, the value of the inductor might need to be adjusted as well. The sponsor of this video is jlcpcb.com a professional PCB factory which currently has the best offer on the market you can order 10 PCBs for just two dollars so check out their website linked in the description below because it will probably cost you more to do the PCBs at home. There is even a uh, current limit option um, which can be set with an external resistor is this one right here in, in the case of this uh, module the uh, current limit is set to 2.6 amps and that doesn't make sense to me since the maximum current limit uh, feature is described to go up to 2.5 amps but anyway that's how they set it on this uh, module in the middle of the PCB we have a uh, DW01 battery protection circuit and a couple of uh, MOSFETs marked uh, B205A so this is the uh, battery protection circuit this small SOT23 part is marked M6 and I think that's a PNP transistor according to various sources uh, found on the internet. These other uh, two guys right here are also SOT23 devices and are marked S5. I think those might be PMOSFETs related to the charging of the battery. Because the way I see the connections uh, you can either connect the uh, positive of the battery to the uh, 5 volts rail or disconnect it with this uh, bidirectional switch. And these two Schottky diodes um, I think are responsible for the uh, input voltage selection of the DC to DC boost converter. So one of them, uh, this one will be connected to the uh, plus of the battery, this one is connected to the 5 volts input and um, whichever uh, has the uh, higher voltage on the anode uh, will be the selected source for the input of the DC to DC converter. So that means while we have an external 5 volt input the DC to DC converter should run on that and the battery should stay charged and if the 5 volt input uh, external input is removed at any point uh, it should switch to the uh, battery input through this other diode. And this uh, small IC which is uh, next to the LEDs is the battery charging circuit. It's marked 57B2 with the actual part number being SD8057. This is a 0.5 amp uh, linear battery charging IC and although the uh, datasheet which I will link in the description below is all in Chinese you can still figure out a few key parameters. This IC just uh, feels like the child of the TP4057 which everyone knows. And now let's do a quick test to see how the UPS functionality works. I have the 5V input powered from my bench power supply. I also have this uh, battery connected to the battery terminals and I have an ammeter in series with each uh, input source 
The Fluke 87 is in series with the uh, external input, the 5 volts coming from a bench power supply, measuring the current. And the Gosson Metro Heat is in series with the battery, measuring the current flowing into the battery or out of the battery. The Aneng is just connected on the output, showing the 12 volts rail of the UPS module. And I have this uh, 12 volts LED acting as a load on the output to create something like a 200 milliamps load on the uh, 12 volts output. So right now the bench power supply is turned on and we can see the current is flowing in from the bench power supply and current is also flowing into the battery uh, when the, the value is negative on the Gaussian metro heat it means the current is flowing into the battery so right now the um, IC management uh, the battery management IC is charging the battery we can see the uh, red status LED means the battery is charging so we have some current flow into the module and uh, to the output DC to DC converter powering our LED and also some current flowing into the battery charging the battery now if I turn off the external input the 5 volts coming from my bench power supply we should see this current going to, ze to zero and this current increasing to a positive value which means current will be flowing out of the battery to the DC to DC converter powering the um, powering our load the LED and we shouldn't see this um, voltage on the output drop whatsoever so let's try to do that I didn't see any drop in the output voltage and now we can see zero current coming from my bench power supply and about 160 milliamps uh, coming from the battery going to the DC to DC converter powering our load so it does indeed have um, UPS functionality as advertised I've also hooked up the oscilloscope to the output of this DC to DC converter just to watch how that 12 volts rail behaves when the switching occurs between the two inputs and uh, this is a screen capture of the scope this is about the worst scenario I was able to get and um, I'm pretty sure this is not caused by the module but by the actual uh, switching of the power supply that I'm doing with the mechanical switch so there is some ringing in there uh, it might be caused by the long wires I have here it might be caused by the switch the mechanical switch on my power supply but I'm telling you the switching uh, between the two input power sources is very clean on this module and that's to be expected because it's a very simple uh, a switch uh, made with two Schottky diodes so I've used that before in other circuits that I've designed myself and it works really well it only has one downside it is the voltage drop on those diodes it's a power loss but that's the only downside otherwise that uh, voltage selection switch made up with uh, two diodes works very well and there is no power drop when the switching occurs so you can safely use this uh, uh, UPS module to power something when your uh, wall adapter let's say uh, drops the battery will pick up from there just fine so that was uh, pretty much what I wanted to test uh, on this module I wanted to see if it actually works as a UPS module and that it switches nicely from the input um, from the two inputs from one to another so yeah it works as uh, advertised and uh, if anyone needs something like this yeah, I think it uh, can be used successfully and also I think you can adjust the output voltage to your needs but just uh, consider that you might need to adjust the value of the inductor as well if you go down to 5 volts you might need to pick uh, let's say a 4.7 micro Henry's inductor instead of the one that comes uh, default so thank you for watching this video let me know what you think in the comment section and uh, don't forget there are links in the description to data sheets and items shown in this video. I'll see you next week.